In today's video, I'm going to show you how I use Tana's AI tools in my meetings to save me at least five hours a week. As a knowledge worker, meetings are inevitable. But here's the thing, how you deal with those meetings, your system for capturing, processing, and actually using what happens in them is a thing that is either slowing you down or speeding you up. So the first thing that I'm going to cover is how I prepare for meetings just by speaking. Number two, I'm going to show you my one-click AI command for creating and sending meeting notes that will take you less than 30 seconds. And I'm going to show you a brand new feature in Tana just released this week that allows you to chat with your meeting notes. Before we dive in, if you really want to build a high-performing Tana workspace, then I would recommend you check out my weekly Tana Toolbox newsletter. Every Sunday, I drop one simple high-impact Tana workflow into your inbox. No complex systems or overwhelming setups, just a practical way to make Tana work smarter for you. So I'll pop the link in the description and I hope you check it out. Now, I don't think anyone has any doubt these days about how powerful AI can be for taking meeting notes. And I guess for me, the problem with traditional note taking in the past has been that I would feel so distracted in meetings because I was just trying to capture every single thing in my notes, because if I didn't capture it, then I knew I was going to forget it. And so then I'd also spend a lot of time after my meetings processing notes, making sure all the actions were captured, you know, all of that kind of thing. And if I had to revisit my notes like months later or even weeks later, Trying to decipher them was almost impossible. And Tana is actually set up for the modern knowledge worker who spends a lot of time in meetings. Not only does it have its very own meeting bot who can join your meetings and take notes and build a transcript, but with some really simple AI commands, you can actually summarize your meetings, send out meeting summaries, and do so many other things with just the click of a few buttons. All right, so let's talk first about preparing your agenda. So if you're anything like me, when you go uh, to a meeting, you like to be a little bit prepared and know what you want to bring up in a particular meeting. So uh, at the beginning of each day, I kind of scan through all of my meetings that I have on and I just drop down some agenda items that I want to bring up. To make that even easier on myself, I have started using an audio field so that I can just talk my agenda um, and Tana just turns it into a whole list of items. And it's actually really, really easy. So if we open up this meeting here, you'll see that I have a field called agenda and it has a little microphone button right next to it. And the way that this works is you can click this microphone button and we can speak the agenda items in. Um, and then Tana will turn it into a list. So in order to set this up, you'll need to create a field in your meeting tag. So if you come to configure, go into your content template and then create a new field. It's just a, just a text field. And then you want to click on this icon to configure the field. So then all you want to do is turn on your audio enabled field toggle. That is going to add your microphone. Then in this post processing command, I just create a command that is process agenda. So um, if we come in here, you create a command. Um, inside that command, you want the ask AI prompt. Um, and then if we open this up, the prompt is really easy. It just says, take my brain dump for this meeting and list each ag agenda item out on a separate line. So basically it's kind of just cleaning up my agenda. Um, and then we just place the agenda um, field name in there and that just reads from the agenda field. And then we want it to dump that back in. Um, and this is what our target node is for um, into the agenda field. So once you've got that set up, all you then have to do is turn on your microphone button and talk through your agenda. It's much quicker than writing everything out that's in your head. So here's how that works. So for this project kickoff meeting, I need to check with the team what the measurable outcomes are. We need to make a decision on that today. And I think that's gonna have to be Priya. So as you can see, as I'm talking through my agenda, that kind of gets noted down. And then what happens is because we have that AI command in place, I have all of my agenda items listed now. And so all I do is I delete this top node uh, with the original uh, brain dump and I have a really clear agenda for what I want to talk about. And so I just find this a really quick way to prepare for all of my meetings just by switching on that microphone button. 
Okay, so the second way that I use AI in Tana for meetings is to prepare my meeting notes once the meeting is done. So AI has an inbuilt meeting bot that you can add to your meeting and it takes notes and records the transcript for you. Okay, uh, so if I open up this transcript, you can see there's a, a transcript in here. Um, if you don't use the meeting bot in Tana, but you use another AI tool, all you have to do is grab the transcript and dump it into a transcript field, okay? It's really that easy, but using the meeting bot is actually the easiest way to have this done pretty quickly. So once you have a transcript in there, then what you wanna do is you want to create an AI command that will prepare the notes for you. Okay, so you can see I've got a button up here that says prepare notes. So if we come into the meeting super tag and we configure that, to create AI commands, you wanna come down here into AI and commands, okay? Um, and so what you wanna do is come down here and I would suggest putting this in the full menu so it only will show up when you're zoomed into a meeting. Um, and if I open this up, this is just a command that I created called prepare notes. All right. It does two things. It processes the transcript into, you know, a summary and action items, but it also then opens the publish preview so that you can publish the page and send it off to anyone who was in that meeting pretty quickly. How this works is you want to create a new command called prepare notes. Okay. To do that, you just come in here and you just write, you know, prepare notes and you just click convert to command. Then you want to add these two command functions. So you've got ask AI um, and then you've got open publish preview. All right. So that's kind of how you get started. Then you want to configure your ask AI like this. Okay. So the prompt is, you know, you're my personal assistant. We just finished a meeting. You need to write and prepare the notes for me. Okay. So start by creating a node called meeting notes with the name. Okay, so name represents this here, Project Kickoff Meeting. Um, and then I'd like you to prepare a summary of each of the main items discussed. Now, when I like the, I like my summaries like high level, so I, I tell it that, but however you like your meeting notes to be prepared, you just tell your assistant how to do it, okay? Um, and then list out all the action items and tag each of them with tasks. Now, if you have a super tag called task, then it's going to automatically tag it. It's really that smart. And so that means that you know, you can literally click this button and see all your action items and they go into your task list and you, you, you process your meeting within less than 30 seconds from after the meeting. Some people might not want every single task tagged and they might want to look through the list of action items and tag the ones that, you know, they're responsible for, those kinds of things. So if you don't want to order to do that, then you just say list out all the actions, um, uh, list out all the action items, right, and just remove this part. Then you want to just going to want to give it some context. OK, so you want to give it the meeting and the name and then the transcript. So that's your prompt. And then you just want to add another field called insert output strategy and you want to make sure it outputs it as the child. All that means is that that is going to add it down here um, as a child of this node. Then we've just added open publish preview. There's no configuration in this, but what's going to happen is it's going to open a publish window so you can publish the notes, grab the link, and then send that off to everyone in the meeting. So let me show you how quick this is. So all I have to do now, I've got, I've got a transcript in there. The meeting's done. I say prepare notes. Then you can see how quickly this happens. Okay. So, uh, and you've seen this gets generated. So the summary of the main discussion items, you know, campaign objectives, deliverables, all these items are now tagged. And on this side, I have my publish preview, which publishes the whole meeting. So, so you can see the attendees, the agenda, and then you can see all of the notes. And all I then have to do is go publish and then open the link. And I have a link that I can send to everyone there that has the summary, the agenda, and all the action items that need to be done. That is how quick getting a meeting from finished to sending the meeting notes can be. Now, I can't tell you how revolutionary this has been for every meeting that I sit in now. I find now that one, I can actually do more meetings every day because I don't have so much of the labor afterwards, but two, I actually have a lot more headspace in the meeting and after the meeting. So meetings don't end up being such an energy drain on me anymore because I basically have an assistant who does everything for me. Now, all of that is super cool, but I want to show you one more AI feature that has just come out this week in Tana that 
allows you to actually chat with your meeting notes. So having a button that you can click and prepare your notes is fantastic. But sometimes what happens with me is when I'm working on a task, for instance, I sometimes need to go back and kind of get some context from the meeting or I need to ask a question. And so I don't want to troll through a whole transcript to do that. Let's say, for instance, I'm working on the CMS templates, right, and the brand guidelines. And I just want to say, like, sometimes if you go back weeks later or something, it's just not clear what you're supposed to do. So I can open this up, chat with meeting, and it says, what do you need to know today? And what you don't see behind the scenes here, and I'm going to show you how to set this up, is that it actually has sent off the meeting transcript to AI. And so when I ask it a question, it will answer with something from the transcript. So let's say, um, what did we say about the CMS? Okay, and it brings that up. Okay, that the timeline is tight, um, suggested locking in CMS templates to save time. Um, or I could ask it, um, did we talk about the avatar? No, right? We didn't mention anything about avatars. So I think, oh, okay, I'm better follow that up in the next meeting. So I can literally just ask questions and I can ask it to do things. You know, can you list out the action item? Okay. Even though we already have a button for that, it's like you can ask it to do anything. So I find this a really great way if I'm coming back to a meeting later and need to find something in the transcript, I've literally gone back into coaching call notes and I've said, I know that we've talked about rainbows. Um, and it finds it the exact you know thing that we were talking about. So to set this up, what you want to do is it's just another command. So we want to come to meeting and go configure tag. All right, you're going to come to AI in commands. Then down in your full menu, we're going to we're going to have a, another command that's called chat with meeting. Okay, so um, you just go chat with meeting. Okay, just like anything, and go convert to command. Now. The command function that you're going to put in here is one called start AI chat. So instead of, rather than in here, we just had ask AI, that's kind of our one click prompts, right? There's no way to, you know, go back and forth or iterate or anything like that. So what you want to do here is use the start AI chat and that's going to open up our chat window. Now, if we open this up, we have a field called agent, okay? And this is how our chats start, okay? So in the agent field, what, you want, what you're gonna do is go meeting chat and then convert to agent, okay? That's gonna give you what we need to start this chat. There's three different kind of prompts to get you started in agents, okay? There's a system prompt. This is going to give it context behind the scenes. So, you, so when I opened up the chat with meeting, you didn't see this particular prompt, but it all already got sent off um, to the AI. So when I opened up the chat with meeting, you didn't see this prompt, but it got sent in the background, okay? Um, so it's kind of like if you work with projects in Claude or uh, custom GPTs, it's the custom part that you don't see and you can just open up a chat. So for this particular system prompt, all we have is you're my meeting assistant, you know all the details of my meetings, and you can find any detail that I need, right? Here's the meeting transcript. Then we have a second kind of prompt here, which is the chat greeting. So basically that's what comes up when we click the button. So in my chat greeting, it says, what do you need to know today? Okay, so it's just a way to just say, hello. Now, the third prompt that you can put in is an initial prompt. So this is a prompt that can just be run automatically. Now, in this particular instance, the chat with meeting, we don't want an initial prompt because the chat could go anywhere. So we just want uh, it to have the context, okay, and to give us a greeting. And then we're gonna prompt it. But in another case, let's say you wanted always for it to um, create your action items, okay? In this initial prompt, you could say create action items from the meeting. And then what's going to happen is you don't have to then run that, but when, you, when the chat pops up, it's going to run that prompt and it's going to come back to you with the action items. But that is how simple that is to set up. I'm so glad that this is a part of Tana now because I will often dump a transcript into ChatGPT or Claude so that I can chat with it. And now that's built right into Tana and I can literally 
just chat with my meeting and ask any questions. So I encourage you stop doing meetings in hard mode and switch to using Tana's smart workspace. And if you really want to get smart, then I would suggest supercharging your workflows with voice plus AI commands. And I create a video on how you can do that right here. And don't forget, if you like this video, then you'll love my Tana Toolbox newsletter. So check that out in the description box below. And while you're at it, hit the like and subscribe button so you get more Tana content like this in your feed.